It's Jeffrey and my 40th wedding anniversary. I can't believe it. And I thought for main course, it would be really nice to have Italian wedding soup. Big steaming bowls of soup with fresh spinach and chicken meatballs. And since it involves chicken, we do know about Jeffrey and chicken. So the first thing I want to do is make the meatballs. So I have six ounces of ground chicken and four ounces of ground chicken sausage. Actually, this sausage is out of the casings. Okay, so I need about a third of a cup of fresh breadcrumbs. I'm gonna just cut off the crust. Give it a buzz of the food processor. That should do it. Okay, next, garlic. It's one big clove of garlic. Fantastic, right into the meatballs. And I love fresh herbs, so I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of fresh parsley. Just chop it up. I actually use parsley in a lot. I think it's got a great flavor. Okay, that's about one and a half tablespoons. So I want two tablespoons of pecorino, which is a really sharp Italian cheese. I'm just gonna grate it. And the next one is two tablespoons of grated Parmesan. This is gonna be good. Chicken, sausage, Parmesan. How big can these meatballs be? Okay, now I'm just gonna add an egg to bind it all together. Pour it in. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Just give it a stir. Okay, I'm ready to make the meatballs. Just around a teaspoon, and that makes the perfect size meatball. And I'm gonna bake these. Nobody needs to stand over the stove and fry them. How great is that? Okay, these are gonna go into the oven, 350 degrees, 30 minutes, and I'm gonna start working on the soup. So while the meatballs bake, I'm gonna make the soup. Just about a half a cup of chopped onion. So I've got a little olive oil in here. Let's do some chopped onion and some chopped celery, one stalk. Whoops, some tears from the onions. <laughs> All part of the charm. Okay, one very large carrot. Just give that a stir. That's gonna cook for about eight to 10 minutes. So I've got the vegetables have been sauteing and they're really soft and flavorful. Now I'm gonna add five cups of chicken stock. So this is the base for the Italian wedding soup. And later I'm gonna put the chicken meatballs in. I really do like homemade chicken stock. If you don't have it, you can use good canned chicken stock, but this makes all the difference in the world. And I like to add a quarter of a cup of white wine. It just gives it real depth of flavor. The alcohol's gonna burn off. Okay, the next part of this Italian wedding soup is putting the meatballs in. So they come out of the oven. I'm just gonna put them right in. I love this, it's a really hearty soup. It's really great for a main course. Fantastic. So the chicken and sausage and Parmesan, right in. Okay, next thing is a little fresh dill. I love the fresh herb flavor. You know, the soup has a very complex flavor, but there's nothing you can't find in a grocery store. It's a handful of fresh dill, just stir it in. And then the last ingredient is spinach, and you're not gonna believe how much it is, but it's gonna cook down in a second. So I've got a big pile of baby spinach leaves, all washed and clean. It's gonna look like it's gonna fill the pot, but in two seconds, it's gonna cook down into the soup. So isn't this interesting? It's chicken meatballs and fresh spinach and all kinds of vegetables. Two bowls of Italian wedding soup coming up. This is my idea of the perfect anniversary.